Hello again. Whether you're here to listen to me ramble or to watch some Dungeons of Eternity gameplay, here it is. This time I've got a voiceover with some of my backstory, and yeah, I'll start by thanking everyone for subscribing. I didn't know what to expect from posting Dungeons of Eternity videos, but I'm happy to see so many of you enjoy them enough to subscribe. So let me get into a little self background that leads up until now. So as a kid, I ended up diving into the anime universe because that form of content was most easily accessible. One of the first anime I watched was Sword Art Online, which at the time, I loved it. And to this day, I credit that anime for sparking my interest in virtual reality. I followed the real life VR technology from a distance until the past few years, but along with Sword Art Online, I also loved Ready Player One. I didn't want to escape reality like the protagonists in most VR stories. I was simply in awe of the idea that an insane amount more was possible in VR compared to reality. I imagined how efficient and exciting life could be if more of it was experienced in a virtual space. I also dreamed of diving into competitive, extreme, and skillful situations without putting my real life on the line, just my virtual one. I've always been interested in video games and sports as well, uh, both playing and watching on media like YouTube. That helped create my super competitive nature, particularly when it came to specific games that I worked to improve in, and sometimes that nature came to a fault. Uh, that led me to tons of different games, but I focused into tennis, as well as flat screen games like TF2, CSGO, and Brawlhalla. I got to the point in skill level where I thought I was good enough for people to enjoy watching, even if I didn't have the typical content creator personality. And I pers first started sharing content in the form of streaming competitive gameplay on Twitch with the platform fighting game Brawlhalla. That was seven or eight years ago when I was in high school. I was consistently growing at that point on Twitch because I was a top ranked player in Brawlhalla with some tournament wins, top placements, and prize money under my belt. However, I decided to focus more on school and starting a career. I ended up dropping the streaming in esports because my focus became too split and I couldn't keep up with everything at the level that I wanted to. And while I did, didn't did drop out of the game entirely, other Brawlhalla players in similar situations did stick with it and are not seeing impressive success right now. Sometimes I do think I could have been right there with them, but I'm glad that I ch made the choice that I did. And that choice, it allowed me to get a bachelor's degree while playing college tennis and working part-time. In the rare free time that I had during the end of college, I started learning more about the MetaQuest 2. I'm not sure exactly what sparked the interest at that exact time, and I was almost two years late from its release, but I was dying to get it, so I spent some of the money that I ended up saving. So to this day, I have not even come close to regretting the purchase. If anything, I wish I had done it earlier. I started with games like The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, L11 Table Tennis, and not. And around the same time, unrelated, I decided to stream Brawlhalla and Valorant on Twitch here and there while uploading the occasional YouTube video. After I graduated and started working full time, I began posting videos in the new virtual reality game, Dungeons of Eternity, which that's become my favorite game of all time. Initially, I only made clips to share in their Discord, but when I started to make clips that were too long for the Discord, I began uploading more full length videos on YouTube and clipping some of the shorts. Soon, I realized there were only a few YouTubers focusing on this game. And aside from that, there were single videos from bigger channels, but they didn't continue playing the game, or at least making YouTube content for it. And I noticed there was much more content that I would have loved to see covered from that game that is not easily accessible yet, so I thought, why not try to fill the gap while having some fun, challenging videos? And yeah, after seeing some unexpected success, I thought that maybe I should put a little bit more effort into my channel as a whole, so now I'm trying to stick to more of a plan, which has become uploading a few videos per week, shorts to fill the days I don't post videos, and voiceover videos like these ideally once a month. 
I'm also excited to grow as a channel while the game itself grows. I've got a whole video about it, but one of the reasons I love Dungeons of Eternity is because of the incredible potential I think it has for everyone to love. I've got no plans to quit my job, but it would be cool to see some consistent growth and maybe earn some money to offset the cost of the hobby. Might be wishful thinking, but I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Aside from that, I do enjoy responding to comments, so leave one if you can, and check out more from my channel. Peace.